Uh, without further ado, hi everyone for whoever's watching this. I uh, would like to welcome Lynn, who recently secured a position as a BI data analyst. So, hey. <laughs> yeah, I know it's it's. Uh, we were super happy. She secured a position, and she's our Hong Kong participant. Uh, and now she's got a job and she's going to go back to South Africa. But she was amazing throughout the entire journey because I was in touch with her closely. So we're here to celebrate her success and also find out a little bit about how she managed to transit from where she was to a BI data analyst. So she joined our BI data uh, analyst program, right, sometime last year. And um, and then now she, this, she just informed us she's got a job. So here we are. So Lynn? We'd we'll just like you to share a little bit about, you know, your background, your education, your job experience previously. Okay, so prior to coming to Hong Kong, I was in IT. I was a junior software developer, but at that time, my career remained very stagnant. And then in terms of growth, I thought, okay, um, I had an opportunity to come to Hong Kong. And then I thought, oh, for the new experience and exposure and seeing what it has to offer, let me do it. Why not? Like, uh, I'm going to see what it's like. And then I came just in time for this pandemic. So things <laughs> remained quite stagnant for a while. And I've been teaching. So I was out of the industry for quite a while. But one thing I did know is that I didn't want to go back into development, but I wanted to be in IT. I wanted to be in analytics. So then this opportunity came along. And then I thought, okay, this is basically speaking to me because I have not been in my field for a while. I want to refine my 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 skill set as well, but I need the practical experience as well. So that's when I thought, okay, no, this is perfect. So then I was a developer for two years in South Africa, came to Hong Kong. I've been teaching for two years. So I'm a head teacher here mm -hmm. in Hong Kong. And then now I'm going back to South Africa and then I got this position as a BI data analyst. So oh, look happy. at that smile yeah, when you really, say really BI. <laughs> so yes, that's basically in a, in a nutshell. I know, and and look at that smile. You so look yeah, so that's basically happy. In a nutshell. Got it, got it. Thanks oh, for I that. I am. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that, Han. So, how did you get to know about Industry Connect? And I know that you wanted to join because uh, from a software developer, you wanted to kind of sharpen your skills in data analytics and gain some experience. So, how did you actually come to find out about Industry Connect? It was on. I think it was social media. I, it was. And LinkedIn, if I'm not mistaken, and it it, kept, it popped up and I went through it, or it was on Facebook, one or the other, and then I went through it, and I got in touch with you, I believe. You were, yes. you were the person that I spoke to, or we, we and I was I was not sure, because I, I thought, oh my goodness, the timing and everything, I know I need to do it, I just don't know when, and how am I going to put this into my schedule, and then until I had that conversation with you, and then you assured me that, look, it, you can actually, it's doable, if you have a full-time job which I do and you are able to and you can fit this in it's, you can do it so yeah that's how I found out and that's when I started pursuing it so after my conversation with you and seeing it on social media as well <laughs> okay so that's good to know <laughs> so in terms of the entire six weeks program and the first six weeks right where you do the remote training before you move on to the internship how did you find that six weeks for you it was I, I won't lie, I will say it was challenging, but it was it was doable. It was, I think, it, it obviously it depends on your self-discipline if you know why you're doing this in the first place and you you go with that mindset of knowing, okay, this is going to be tough, you are yeah. going to manage it and you're just going to make it work. So I I found it to be very informative. I, I did it after work. So I would work until like I'd come home at you know, 8 o'clock, I'd start at 9, I'd start catching up around that time so that's when I when I did it and over weekends and things but I felt like the the tutors were amazing um they they assisted me where they could and I found it to be very informative obviously you need to study you need to you need self-discipline and you need to work on your own as well but in terms of the guidance I think it, it was really really efficient as well so yes I hope that answers the question Oh, it does. It does. And thank you for that. Okay. The fact that you shared about the tutors because many people are also worried sometimes when they know that it's a remote program, the fact that they don't get physical classes. Some people are a bit apprehensive about it. They're like, mm, okay, how will I actually learn, you know? So if, if there's one piece of advice you would want to give someone who's considering or is worried about remote learning, what would it be, Han? It would be that... Uh, 
self-discipline is definitely necessary. Okay. Utilize the resources that are available to you because at the end of the day, that's what you have. If you remote, it's not you no know, man is not an island in this case because you're not on your own. You have the hub, you have the Christian hub, you have the your the, the group of people that you start with, luckily I was in a really good group. So everyone mm-hmm. helped one another. There are numerous platforms where you have the opportunity to engage. And if you're unsure, there's assistance. So yes, it's, it's, it's not easy, but it, it challenges you and it pushes you. And I think you, you, and that's the only way you ultimately grow as well is if you put yourself in those uncomfortable positions and you work hard. That's ultimately what it comes down mm-hmm. to. And you will reap, you will reach the benefits. I mean, yeah, you will reap it, but just work hard and consistent. That's wonderful, well. right? I think um, what you said, what you said, Dalin, in terms of being um, consistent, I think that's one thing that I always tell all participants: being consistent is so important because the moment you lose a little bit and you stop for a while, it snowballs. Mm. You know, the amount of work you've got to do snowballs and it just affects your morals and then you start feeling like, oh, I've got such a lot. I've got so much to do. And then it starts seeming like a chore to you, even if it was doable for you in the beginning, you know? So I think that was, that's that's a very good way to put it in. I like the way you said um, self-discipline and no man is uh, an island, you know, because there are people around you. Yes, it's remote, but there are people around to, you know, help and, and sort of guide them. So that's great. So in terms of a surprise element in the program, Lynn, what would you say it was? Any surprise element that caught you like, oh, I didn't know this was going to be there. What was any surprise element that you would like to share about? Surprise element in where the work is concerned, like the academic side of it or the... Um, probably the, the entire pro- program side of it. So let's help you a little bit. So during the internship, you know, you didn't know, oh, this was, I didn't know they are going to have this. You know, I didn't know that this was oh, going to be there. That kind of stuff. I think that's that's one thing I appreciated about this course. And that I would say it was a surprise, but a pleasant surprise in that sense is that it's kind of an holistic approach to... Right your progression so i think your sessions the career the um global global careers the, uh, the employability global talent employability sessions. Yes, yes yes so so that in itself there were so many things that i mean i've been in the workforce and things that i picked up on and i thought okay wow like that that really helped me and it's i think in that sense that i appreciated that that it gave you different elements Elements of things that you didn't even really know you needed until you actually got it and you thought, ah, this this will help me. I did not know that before. So I think in that sense, that was the pleasant, the, yeah, the pleasant surprise was a good thing awesome. in that sense. Awesome. Thanks, Anne. So I do, um, it is one thing, right? So in case people who are listening, guys, if you don't know what Lynn is talking about, during the internship, we have workshops or value-added workshops or sessions, I would say. Uh, we cover life skills, we cover employability, we cover communication at work. We cover all these as well because it's a job-ready program and eventually we want you guys to be ready for a job. So when you say a job, they don't just look out for your IT skills, they look out for your soft skills as well. So at Industry Connect sponsors some of these sessions during the internship so that you guys get well accustomed and acquainted with um, your the, be- the best version of you, you know, try to bring that side of Yes, of course of you out yeah so that's what Lynn is uh, talking about so on that note Lynn could you maybe share a little bit about how you found the tutors the select community um, any help that you wanted you mentioned earlier that the tutors were there to actually guide you here and there but in terms of select and the tutors and the whole community in general how did you find that oh I, I found them to be incredibly helpful I think uh, I can I can speak for a few people for myself rather I was in a position where the majority of my team or the group of people that I started with, they could attend the live sessions. I could never attend it because I had my classes. I had work during the time. So I think that um, in that case, even though I was not there, I could still speak to them. I could speak to my, my team members. I could. Um, I had an issue with one of my programs or things that were not working. I could message one of the tutors as well. He was very helpful. So I think the different channels and things, it's a very supportive group as well, because we all ultimately, we all want the same thing. We're trying to uplift ourselves and we want to, we want to see growth within ourselves and our community members. We're all striving for the same thing. So in that sense, it's kind of, we speak the same language and we want to grow. So everyone, everyone helps one another where they can, which is really, really, it's great. 
Oh, that's 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 so good to hear, Linda. It's so good to hear that you know when our participants come back and let us know that it helps because every time you're constantly improving as well. And we want to hear from you because the more we hear, the more we can actually fine tune or fine stream the entire process, uh, streamline the entire process. So that's fantastic. So in terms of highlights of the entire program, what would you say that was the best highlight for you in your in the duration <laughs> of your program? What's the highlights? Highlights. I think the the different sessions. So what are the especially more sessions and it's unbiased completely because I know I spoke to you before. I really appreciated that as well. I enjoyed it. So I think it's it's not just all work. And that's all it is. Like, you shouldn't think of this program as, okay, no, I'm just going to be coding all the time or I'm going to be having to extract data all the time. Yes, there's that part of it, but there's the lighter side of it as well, where it's like just things that you can, like life skills, things that you can apply to everyday life as well. So I think that was the, that was the nice, that was like the nicer part of it too. And I, 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 I really enjoyed it personally. So I'm assuming, I would hope that most people do as well. So... Oh, thank you so much, Lynn. Thank you. So, guys, in case you don't know, I'm the one who conducts the life skills. <laughs> And that's what Lynn is talking about. So if you guys join us, you'll get life skills as well. But they have a lot of other wonderful workshops running. Just like how, I mean, um, like Lynn definitely spoke about employability and communication and stuff like that. So we have a whole list of workshops, whatever that makes you, um, you know, whatever that makes you a better person. We have those workshops as well. Uh, so it used to be run by Ianta and now we have Regina who's running it. They're all fantastic, fantastic trainers. So that's there as well. So Lynn, to wrap this up, what advice would you want to give someone who is thinking about entering mm -hmm. the IT market, the IT industry, the software market? What advice would you have for them? If there's one thing you could let them know. So one thing that I would say is do your homework, know what the demand is out there. Look at look at what look at what the demand is and how relative what you are doing is. And then you would see, even with this in this with industry connect, they speak to that. So look at whether it's ticking off boxes when you are entering the workforce. Go in this with, if you want to be in IT, you need to accept that you're going to work hard, you're going to work consistently, and you need to love what you do. Because if you can see yourself, if you can see yourself getting lost throughout the day, just working, it's, it's not just all, all work all the time, but you need to be focused, but you need to enjoy what you do too. And don't let the noise distract you of, okay, it's a, it's a, like it's the tech industry oh and all the 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 bells and whistles don't think about that if it comes down to actually sitting with code and sitting with the work can you do it and are you do are you wanting to do that as well i think that you need to ask yourself and if the answer is yes then you need to pursue it as soon as you can because it's a mm. fast fast growing industry as well so yeah that is it is Thanks a lot, Lynn. Thanks for that. I think that made a lot of sense. Like a lot of people tend to take, uh, tend to assume that they've got a lot of time on their hand, you know, and then they push the decision for later and say, oh, no, maybe later, yeah. maybe later. But I think what you said at the end, that it's a very fast growing industry and that people are snapping up the positions like this in oh, really, yes. oh, instant, literally, yes. right? I think that you would know. Yes. So in that regard, I would really think that that advice that you gave, if they really feel it's what they want to do, then they should just jump on it and give it a shot and not just um, wait till all the opportunities are gone. And then by the time they jump on the bandwagon, it's gone. It's long gone for them to actually... Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, so that's I, I think that's a fantastic advice uh, that you can give them. Lynn. And I'm sure a lot of people would listen to what you've said because you shared so genuinely based on your experience and how you got into this. So I'm sure many people are going to relate to your experience and what they heard for, about the program. So I would like to thank you again, the whole of Industry Connect and MVP Studio team. We are super proud of you. Everyone knows you, by the way. They know that Lynn got a job. The whole team speaks about you all the time. So we are super, super proud of you. You know, we are always here for you. We will want you to keep in touch. Always be part of the community, no matter where you go. Um, you have us to fall back on for anything. So we would like to thank you from the bottom of the heart. Wish you all the best in, in the your next Endiva, your next opportunity. We are data analyst. I'm sure the company is going to be super happy having you. Oh, thank you so much, Roshma. I appreciate everything. Thank you for the whole team. Thank you to the team, MVP Studio and Industry Connect. Honestly, I would not have been able to do this without you. So this is where it started. This, this was everything. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Han. So I'll get in touch with you again you. on text. So now, um, thank you very much for this wonderful interview. All right. Thank you so much.